week four, whether you like it or not. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is typhoon? Number two, how does pag-asa categorize the impact of winds of every public storm warnings? And number three, what is an emergency kit? What are included in the kit? What is typhoon? Are you familiar with these graphics? Can you say something about it? So based on the graphics that we have, the two graphics shows the effect of a typhoon that occurred in an area. A typhoon could bring strong winds, heavy rain, and sometimes storm surge. Weather conditions affect family and community activities, transportation services, and the environment. The destructive effect of typhoon includes flooding in the cities and the countryside, flash flood in areas with denuded mountains, erosion, landslides, and destruction of properties. What is typhoon? Typhoon. It is the common name here in the Philippines for strong tropical cyclones. A typhoon develops from the combination of a warm sea surface, atmospheric turmoil, intense humidity, enough for Coriolis force to create low pressure center, low vertical wind shear, and an already existing low-level focus or disturbance. What is Pag-asa? The Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or Pag-asa monitors weather development. It has weather stations in different parts of the country. Different warning signals are contained in domestic bulletins to warn people and advise them on precautionary measures. Pag-asa uses the system of warning signals to report the condition of the typhoon in our area of responsibility. How does Pag-asa categorize the impact of winds of every public storm warnings? Public storm signal number one. Winds of 30 to 60 kilometers per hour may be expected within the next 36 hours. People are advised to listen to the radio for the updates. Preschool level classes are suspended. Some banana plants may be tilted. Twigs and branches of small trees may be broken. Rice crops may suffer significant damage when it is in its flowering stage. Public storm signal number two. Winds of 61 to 120 kilometers per hour may be expected within 24 hours. Classes are suspended in elementary and high school levels. The winds can cause moderate damage in places that are affected. Most banana plants, ipil-ipil, a few mango trees, and similar trees may be down or broken. Rice and corn may be adversely affected. Some old galvanized iron roofs may be peeled off. Public storm signal number three. Winds of 121 to 170 kilometers per hour may be expected within the next 18 hours. Classes are automatically suspended in all levels. Houses made of light materials may be destroyed 
and there might be communication and electrical disruptions. People living in low-lying areas and coastal waters are advised to go to higher places. Almost all banana plants are downed and large number of big trees may be uprooted. Majority of all nipa and kogon houses may be unroofed or destroyed and there may be considerable damage to structures of light and medium construction. There may be widespread disruption of electrical power and communication services. Public Storm Signal Number 4 Very strong winds of 171 to 220 kilometers per hour may be expected within the next 12 hours. Traveling and other outdoor activities are prohibited. All are advised to stay in safer places. This condition is very dangerous. Damage to affected areas can be very heavy. Coconut plantation may suffer extensive damage. Many large trees are down or broken. Electrical power distribution and communication services may be severely disrupted. Most houses of medium built materials are unroofed, some with collapsed walls door and windows public storm signal number five an intense winds of more than 220 kilometers per hour may be expected in at least 12 hours this typhoon is extremely destructive or catastrophic to the community as widespread damage to structures is expected Most plants and tall trees are broken, uprooted, and defoliated. Few plants and trees survived. Complete roof failure on many residences and industrial buildings. Severe and extensive window and door damage. Almost total damage to structures of light in highly exposed coastal areas. What is an emergency kit? What are included in the kit? Emergency Kit An emergency kit has all the things that you and your family may need during an emergency in which you may have to stay inside for longer than usual or the electricity could go out. A basic emergency kit could include the following items. Water 1 gallon per person per day, flashlight, first aid kit, manual can opener, dust mask for contaminated air, cell phone with battery powered or solar charger, moist towelettes, garbage bag, and plastic ties for personal sanitation. Non perishable food. Radio, cash, and change in a waterproof container, flares or whistle to signal for help, and emergency blanket. Tips and reminders to make sure your family emergency kit is always ready to go. Number one, keep canned or packed food in a cool, dry place. Check the expiration dates at least twice per year. Number two, store boxed food in tightly closed plastic or metal containers. Number three, replace water supply every six months. Number four, review your needs every year and update your kit as your family's needs change. Update medical and personal records at least once per year. And number five, prepare separate kits for your home, work, and your vehicle since you'll never know where you will be 
when an emergency happens. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.